which laptop should you buy? Apple's 14 inch MacBook Pro or the 16 inch MacBook Pro? What's up folks, welcome to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here, I hope you're having a swell day, but I'm here to talk to you about Apple's latest laptop offerings and whether or not it makes more sense to go with the 14 inch MacBook Pro or the 16 inch MacBook Pro. We're gonna talk about the design specs and what the differences are between these two laptops. Out of the gate, there is a lot of similarities here. For starters, they can be specced out the same. You can get each of these machines with a 12 core M2 Max processor with a 38 core GPU, up to 96 gigs of memory, and up to an eight terabyte internal SSD. And they all have the same ports. On one side, you have an HDMI 2.1, a Thunderbolt port, and an SD card reader. And the other side, you're gonna find your MagSafe three slot for charging, two more Thunderbolt ports, and a headphone jack. What's great here is that Apple does not hide better technology inside of the larger, more expensive MacBook Pro. You can opt for that 14 inch MacBook Pro and get just as good performance as the larger MacBook Pro. And I think that is great because honestly, there's a big difference in weight and size between these two devices. These laptops are entirely made out of metal. They've got big glass displays, glass trackpads, and massive batteries to go with it, which means they're not light. The 14 inch MacBook Pro, it tops out at 3.6 pounds if you have that M2 Max processor on the inside. If you go for the 16 inch MacBook Pro, it weighs more than a pound more, coming in at 4.8 pounds with that M2 Max processor. If you're toting this around all day, whether it's campus uh, or on a bike or anything like that, it really starts to add up that extra 1.2 pounds. Seriously, it's a, it's a noticeable difference between these two machines. But with that larger body, Apple does give you an added benefit. Battery life does increase. The 14 inch MacBook Pro can get 18 hours of video playback time, whereas the 16 inch MacBook Pro, with that larger space and a larger battery, it can get all the way up to 22 hours. So up to four more hours of usage time on the 16 inch MacBook Pro compared to the 14 inch. Another difference is the power supply that Apple chooses to pair these laptops with. If you choose the 14 inch MacBook Pro, right, and you opt for the basic entry level 10 core M2 Pro processor, Apple's going to include a 67 watt charger in the box. If you upgrade though, you can get a 96 watt power adapter that'll charge the 14 inch MacBook Pro even faster. Or Apple will upgrade it for you if you happen to choose the 12 core M2 Pro processor. On the other hand, the 16-inch MacBook Pro comes out of the gate with Apple's 140-watt charger. Now, it's not that just Apple is giving a much higher capacity charger to the bigger laptop just because it wants to include a better charger, but because it is a larger laptop, it's got a larger battery to fill, and it needs to be able to do it quickly. So it needs a higher wattage charger to fill a larger battery in a similar time frame. Then again, both the 14 and the 16 can fast charge using the higher wattage chargers, whether the 140 on the 16 inch or the 96 watt on the 14 inch. Hey, if we could pause for just a moment, uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys know that in order to keep this channel running, occasionally I need to do sponsor breaks with brands that I know and trust. And in this case, I need to thank my sponsor for this video, UPDF. UPDF is by far one of the best, most capable utility productivity apps that I have ever used on my iPhone and iPad. But it's not just available on iPhone and iPad. It works on Mac, including Apple Silicon, and Windows and Android devices too. You got a PDF? Cool. With UPDF, you can encrypt it, you can sign it, you can edit it, and you can even convert it thanks to built-in Optical Character Recognition, or OCR. Just takes that PDF and then exports it in whatever format you want. Text document, a Word document, Excel. You can take images and export them out as TIFFs or JPEGs, and you can even take your whole PDF and export it as a HTML page. But here's the best part. Not only is UPDF a great app, it's available on all of Apple's platforms, but just for being an Apple Insider viewer, you can save 42% by following the exclusive link that is down below in the description and pinned in the comments. Plus that one license will work across all the different platforms, Windows and Android included. So go ahead, try it out. Thank you again to UPDF for sponsoring this video. 
Now let's get back to our main content. Technically the 16 inch starts with a better processor than the 14 inch version. You're getting like a 12 core CPU versus the 10 core CPU without having to upgrade. But really what I think the difference comes down to between these two laptops is the size of the screen, the size of the device and the weight. If you are carrying this around all day, this 16 inch can be tiresome, especially if you're not a large human being. If you're a smaller person, it can really weigh on you, whether you're carrying on your back or in your arms, especially for campus and school. The 16 inch is kind of crazy to be toting around all day. And I think the 14 inch or even a MacBook Air, if you don't need the performance, is a fantastic option. The screen sizes are not all that different. Now, when I'm working on video production, I do enjoy the larger 16 inch display, but moving it around, the 16 inch can be quite a lot. An extra pound, 0.2, it adds up. But honestly, that screen is really pretty and I like the extended battery life that I get because I can churn through a lot of battery when doing higher performance stuff like video editing. But what do you guys think? Do you think that display is worth that upgrade? Are you opting for a 6 inch or a 14 version if you could pick either one of them? Let me know down below in the comments or on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. And if you'd like to grab either of these two laptops, we've gathered some links and deals for these. They're down in the description below. So check those out uh, and let me know what you guys think. Otherwise, stay tuned. I got so many more videos coming your way.